So thank you everyone for joining us and thank you, Omer. Um, my name is Jonathan Levy from Perception Point, as I mentioned, and we're a prevention as a service company that intercepts content-based attacks across all collaboration channels, such as email, cloud storage, CRM apps, and messaging platforms. Today, I'll be sharing insights and examples into the COVID remote working situation and its effects on the world, as well as our clients. Perception Point has been catching corona-themed attacks daily, and we are seeing a significant increase in both amounts and creativity in the design of the attacks, which I will dive into into my next slide. What we have seen during this period is a significant increase in the use of email and collaboration applications due to the need to be working remotely. Beyond the email, which is a known fear, these new channels are a major threat. The same content is in email is being shared across these, these channels, and attacks see it as a long-hanging fruit for the same email style attack. As mentioned before by Omer, Zoom is a great example for this, or Microsoft Teams, which usage increased by 75 million active users um, during this period. Throughout history, attackers have followed the adoption of tools by companies and adapted accordingly. They have mastered new attack techniques to fit the digital first enterprise. The attackers are all using a combination of attacks that you see in the slide and channels. For example, a simple BEC attack is now a combination of malware and phishing and every now and then we can see an executable file um, concealed within it. Focusing on the last two months, data from our clients show this significant increase in attacks due to the corona situation. Sorry, my slide. So focusing on the last two months, we can see the data on this slide that a significant increase in both the corona situation, not only phishing attacks on BEC, which you can see 142% increase, but total incidents as a whole has rose to 93%. Not only are we seeing an increase in the amount of attacks, but also the use of COVID-19 as the backstory for them, to the phishing and B-take itself. We continue to see a very cynical ways to look into to trick employees that include new vaccine news, infected people at work, supporting funding, and all that are very skillfully to look like it came from a legitimate source using domain spoofing, name spoofing, and so forth. As a result of the ever-expanding attack environment, Perception Point currently integrates seamlessly with the following collaboration channels in our clients to date. Email, cloud storage, and collaboration. Let's in look into a quick use case from one of our Fortune 500 companies um, who have us displayed on both SharePoint, OneDrive, and their teams. So what you see here is a client of 120,000 employees that did not have protection on the collaboration tools. Due to the corona times and the sudden need for remote working, the client Jonathan, needed something- Jonathan, I'm sorry to interrupt. You said 100,000, right? Without protection, that was the number, right? 120,000, correct. Oh my God, 120,000 without protection. Remember that number. Okay, please continue. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So as you can see, in the first week on production of only a small amount of users, which you see on the right, we caught nine malicious documents. Just imagine what kind of damage just one file like this can do floating around your cloud storage. The result of this, instant protection and instant deployment company-wide for both OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams. A little bit about Perception Point before I show you a quick catch from this week um, in our dashboard that relates to the coronavirus. Perception Point's main pillars are based on um, four different aspects. Firstly, superior detection. We are built up of a combination of next-gen dynamic and static engines, as well as image recognition algorithms to stop all types of attacks, from BEC, phishing, to malware and zero days. Secondly is our speed and scale. Perception Point's unique technology enables the scanning of 100% of traffic dynamically no matter how much the volume. Thirdly is our incident response team. Especially in this day and age where everyone's working from home, our clients receive direct access to our IR experts who provide an in-depth analysis of key trends, incidents, and techniques, serving as the IT, security, and SOX force multiplier. Lastly, but as important, is the plug and play. We know how busy IT and security teams are. As such, we've made sure our solutions are plug and play, zero fuss, zero overhead, and simple integration. As promised, let's take a quick look into an example from this week that a client of ours received. As you can see in this screenshot, uh, it looks exactly like it's come from the WHO organization, which is the World Health Organization. And you can also even see that the domain has, is nicely tricked to who.int, a nice way to trick any unsuspecting end user. However, once we dive into the screenshot from our dashboard, we can see how and why this was caught as malicious. Not only did our image recognition algorithms catch a phishing link for the WHO domain, but we can also see our BE engines detected impersonation attempts. This information was not in threat intelligence, anti-spam or policy and came 
purely from our own anti-phishing um, algorithms and be easy. So that about wraps up um, everything we have today from Perception Point and the COVID-19 situation from our clients.